Hello and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We have fast traveled to this bonfire and it turns out the hunters are right here. I don't here. suppose you three know an Osram and Song's Edge called Bergren, do you? <laughs> Boys! That con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. I'm nobody's errand girl. Bergren asked me to help harvest parts. Or would you rather keep trying to sell him broken junk? Broken junk? This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. We're about to take down these machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way. Okay.
know what business this is of yours, Alvando. Looking good. All right, Outlander. You want to talk about our deal with Bergrind? Let's talk. That's done. You three are pretty handy in a fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergrin tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergrin's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? We... had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the Sundom. From here to the Sundom? It's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, and in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look, all that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergen. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just meant... Oh, I bet that scam artist Osirim could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergrind. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and... Boys, shut up! Ugh! Every time someone brings up that stupid heart... I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergrin was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Maw Fang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's gotta keep you three out of trouble? Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The Bloody Snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody Snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warrick? Yeah, it's not great to die. Well, it's, it's not like your names are any better. You. We're headed northwest, to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. That's a long way to go. Could gather up some blue gleam along the way. There's plenty. There's plenty between us and there. Interesting that this blue gleam seems to be on our level. Right here? Yeah. There it is. Blue gleam. Are you taking that? That's 14. I feel like the bow we bought was. But I'm having a hard time keeping track of everything we have bought and still kind of want to buy. 
Like at this point, we, like that, the, the bow we have right now in our hands is is the main thing. Demonic, which means I don't really want to mess with them. So I might take a shot here, see if we can erupt that immediately, and it looks like we can. So I might see about staying hidden, destroying all their components, and seeing what that gets us. patience here. We can't can't mess around too much. So frustrating. You waste all that time and then you completely blow it. A couple decent opportunities too, which makes it worse.
My hope is to bring that one closer to the other two. Not happening. So, boom, blow them up. Fellow back heart, number one. Got some blaze from him, which is actually, uh, I'm not disappointed in that at all. Only one heart. We need two for that armor we've been eyeing up. I mean, the armor we have now is fine. I probably don't even care about that old piece anymore, but... It's just interesting that we've been thinking about having it for so long, and we still don't. Good fight though. The three demonic fire bellow backs, and we took them all out. Zero damage. That's pretty impressive, actually. I'll find a use for you.
joking? We were born ready. Let's go get them, Flaming Skulls. Nope. That's awful. It is a pretty bad name. Good effort to work, I. Forget it. Let's just go kill something. I'm ready. Gotta be. I do want my old, uh, where is it? The strip caster? That's the best I've got? Wow. I need to get an improved version of that for sure. Like, I would have liked to take advantage of that, but way too dangerous. Beautiful. Hush now. It's over. I don't know about you three, but I feel better. Aloy, did you get that component? That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgrind. Starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really gonna get out of here. Honestly. I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni, but here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She, she was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. 
Is this why you left Banor? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onaka knew Nikoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. Nikoni challenged the chieftain. First, if you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werax split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Oniku's feet, and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. What happened? How did you lose Nikoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oni could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nikoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oniku, grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nukoni? We tracked Nukoni through the woods, found her not far from the trailhead. With her damn neck snapped. I don't want to remember her like that. Sometimes that memory, it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to tie. It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. I'm sorry. For what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoir is buried in Bonoir. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap mall thing. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. Yellowstone sucks. I was starting to worry about you three. Everything all right? We took our time. After our last conversation, we had a lot to think about. I can imagine. Just one more hunt, then your debt is paid and you three can make your way south. Ready? Huntress, the sunshine snowshoes await your signal. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible! impressed, Dulamok. Didn't think you could come up with a name worse than Burning Turkeys. Well, I liked it. Let's hunt. Low and quiet does it.
one you want me, bro. Got him. That makes things a lot easier. Oh no, he still has fire. Why? Why did you still have fire? This one doesn't, and I feel like I did the same thing to each of them. Dead now. They seem to be suggesting there's something else. Up here. No, that's the control tower. Another snap mall up that way. There. That's the last of Bergen's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something it else. Was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nikoni wanted to hunt. Nikoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. But worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nukoni. 
We can become the Werax she always wished for. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. <sighs> Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Burgrant. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is I would have gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. It's a little much, Burkai, don't you think? That's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? Look around. You've taken down more machines since you left Banur than some hunters take down in a year. Shattered hearts and all, right, Orkai? It wasn't shattered. But you took down a Thunderjaw to get that heart, didn't you? We did. So, silly suggestion, but what if we were the Shattered Hearts? You know, I actually like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you, Aloy, for seeing us for who we are. All right. That is a long way to go. We're gonna fast travel here, talk to Burgrind, then we will travel on foot to the final control tower. And I think we have the time to take that down before the end of the episode. 18 minutes on the timer. I think we can do it. Take down that control tower, and then next episode we'll be going into Thunder Drum. And then we'll be back on the main quest line. Uh, the DLC will be nearly done. I'm going to look back at these episode titles here. Uh, it seems like it was either episode 59 at the end of it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the end of episode 59 that we came in. And this is episode 71. So if next week is just over three months that we've been hanging out in the DLC. That seems crazy to me. I was thinking, I don't know why, but I was thinking it was like four or five episodes. Like I didn't think it was very much and I was in the back of my head, like, it was kind of like, man, this DLC wasn't, it wasn't very extensive, was it? But no, it was, it was, you know, we're looking about 13 hours. More if I care to collect blue gleam and uh, get some more parts, but. Probably won't do that. Let's just take a check here. Um, the champion bow we could afford right now. This bow, this would be the one I really want, the striker bow. I need two more blue gleam for that. Oh, the, these two are available. Okay. The, the one we already bought is no longer here. I thought it would be listed as... I don't know, as unavailable or something, but it's just it's just not there. But yeah, two more blue to get the bow that we particularly want. We might get it as a reward for this quest. Burgrind, how'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. Hey, do you know those three crazy Manuka calling themselves the Shattered Hearts now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger. A pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. There I was, 
Atop the cloud There you go. Perfect. Raining blows upon me. Back to back. Does me good to see you. Absolutely perfect. So, let's go ahead. Get this, uh, where is it? Up here. Shadow Hunter bow, take that stuff off of there. Trade with you. We will sell the Shadow Hunter bow. We will buy the Banuke Striker bow. Clip it right up there. <clears throat> I think we also want to get rid of all the all the greens again just to make sure we don't run out of storage. Get a full. And we're gonna fire this bad boy up. Boom. Alright, awesome. Now, as I said, we're going to try to get to this final control tower. It's a long way to go. I don't know why I agreed to do it on foot. But uh, that's what I said I was going to do, so that's what we're going to do. was a kid. I could have seen that this was along my path, but I promise you I didn't. This, this is completely lucky that I ran into that path. Back to your business. All right, where are we at? There's something right here. Oh, nope, there's another one to my... Whoa! Keep running. Keep on running. Now they're hunting me. Pop up. Save these for the trail. Of the three that we were hunting with, or not? Kind of hard to tell. Picking up some root that we're never going to use. There, the control tower just popped up. I mean, we've already determined that we can destroy these from a distance with only two arrows, so... This isn't... this might not be that climactic of a challenge here. Last time we tried it... We died. So we're gonna... hopefully be a little better this time around. There's a little fight going on here. A bunch of scrappers. Super invested in this fight.
all control towers disabled. got two different green quest markers coming up. We might not be ending the DLC. Alright, check it out. Outlander. It would be my... I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnok, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A new hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine... The claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. 
Hunt well. You're Aloy, right? My pop... Bergen, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja. Pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... Right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. So... Let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't now. you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. All right. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird Talon. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So this this is... forge okay. fire of yours, what do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a Bellowback Snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the valley meet, and a Stormbird roost near the I'll free I'll pack and meet you out there. This'll be fun. Okay. So, All right. Very, very cool. Uh, we've got a lot to do. Uh, I'm gonna say right now, we're very near to out of time, so... I'm gonna save the game right here, and then next time we're gonna...